Hello, welcome to A Ticket to Christ. And today we're doing another uh, segment on the faith series. We're picking up in Mark chapter 5 from verses 25 to 34. It says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind him and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging, thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee, hath made thee whole, Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. So this passage is um, a great one to study out for healing, uh, for healing faith, just as a as an example of of what faith looks like. And you know, we've been talking about faith is a verb; it's an action word, and we see here a good demonstration of that faith. So let's, um, I guess, break this apart a bit. So uh, what was this woman sick with? What was her illness? What was wrong with her? It said that she had an issue of blood for 12 years. That's a long time, 12 years of bleeding, probably menstrual bleeding um, and couldn't stop. Uh, this is what I'm assuming it's menstrual bleeding and it just would not stop. Um, and then it said that she suffered many things of many physicians. So she went through all of the trials, all of the experiments, and some probably very painful and difficult. And she spent all she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. So she spent all her money, all the money, all the money that she had for this, she spent it and nothing worked. And instead of getting better, she got worse. So she was in a very dire position. I, I can imagine psychologically how traumatic it was for her and how difficult it was for her family and just how um, she would feel year after year uh, going through this and, and having this type of illness and going from one doctor to the next and them doing these experiments and then seeing how financially challenging it was, maybe even trying to work extra jobs to get the money. So she was in a really terrible position. And it said when she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind him, that's a, the press would be the crowd, and touched his garment. And here's what she said to herself. This is, this is her, this exposes where her faith is. She says, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Why do you think she said that? Why do you think she's saying, if I could only eat, touch his clothes, I will be whole, I will be healed just by touching his clothing. I believe that um, this woman believed that Jesus was who he is, the son of God, the Messiah, God coming in flesh through Jesus. Um, and I believe that why I believe that is because there's a scripture in the Old Testament that talked about that the Messiah will come with healing in his wings, meaning in the tassels of his clothes, they call it a tzitzit. I'm not sure if, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's I think it's T-S-I-T. -I, I think that's how it's spelled. And so they knew that's, I believe that's what she was thinking the, must, the scripture said that if I touch the hem of the Messiah's garment, I will be healed. Healing will be in his wings. And she touched him. 
Now notice the thing, the disciples, and she's, and it says immediately she was healed. And Jesus immediately felt her touch, turned around and say, said, who touched me? So think about it. A lot of people are pressing up against Jesus following and he's being touched left and right. But one touch, one touch made him stop. And it was a touch made with faith and understanding and belief. And that is the power of faith. That is the power of living faith, active faith. She didn't just sit in her house and believe that Jesus was who he was. She got out of her house, followed him, and said, if I could just touch the edge of his garment, this is a promise of the scripture, that the Messiah will have the healing in his wings, in the seat seat, and I'm going to touch that head hem, and I'm going to be healed. And she found a way and did it, you know, so... With a lot of crowds around Jesus, she might have been crawling on her, her, her knees going to, to grab a hold of that tassel <laughs> when nobody could see. And then Jesus came, uh, when she came trembling, knowing what happened and fell down. She wasn't sure what would happen to her because she know she, she, she took it. She didn't ask. She just grabbed her healing. And Jesus said, daughter, he called her daughter. He called her a daughter. Imagine being called a daughter by Jesus because of her faith, because of your faith. And he says, your faith has made you well. Whole, whole, he said, go in peace and, and be whole of thy plague. So um, she received wholeness and um, she was told to go in peace and she found freedom from her disease as a result of having faith, putting her faith in Jesus. And we can follow this same pattern today of really looking at Jesus. When you look at Jesus and you study Jesus, Jesus is the exact representation of who God is. So if you wanna know and understand God, study Jesus, look at Jesus, because God manifested himself in Jesus to give us an example that we could easily digest because God, we can't digest the, the, the power and presence of God in his natural what you know state in heaven, you know, God who is spirit. We can't digest it. We can't digest um the cre the cre the creator of, of all things. It's, we can't digest God's eternal being who always existed. But in Jesus, we're able to have an example of God's character of what he values and what he wants from us and what true faith is and why to have it and how to how to have it and we have an example here left for us of true faith faith that made Jesus pause and say look power came out of me to someone because they touched me with faith that's the type of faith we need today in these days that's the type of faith um, that will bring healing to your life, believing in Jesus that way, having an active faith in which you're fully convinced and that you have that same self-talk. She had a self-talk with herself and her self-talk, wow, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. That's what she was telling herself. She wasn't doubting. She wasn't having any doubting internal conversations. She was having a conversation with herself full of faith. And so a lot of times that's what I notice about um, uh, these, these examples of faith. They always speak what's going to happen first and then step out and actually do an action to back it up. So first declare it and then do it. Uh, those are the two things I see when I read these examples and this example of faith. Um, so that's what I got from this. Uh, hope you got uh, some new revelation as you read it as well. Also, with uh, some of these segments, I'm leaving extra scriptures in the bottom so that if you want to do further faith studies on similar things like healing, um, you can have those on hand. So um, that's it for today. I hope uh, that this helped in some way and that you're having a great day and week. Take care. Bye-bye.